just heading out to pass robles uh we're gonna go see matt and mike ducey i hope to see mike ducey mike is the paternal lead of the ducey family and of all the ducey farming operations and we're gonna meet at uh paper street vineyard in the willow creek district which is on the west side of Paso Robles, high up on the mountain. Uh, Paso Robles is not flat. Paso Robles is um, both flat and mountainous. Uh, so we're gonna see that today. And uh, we're gonna walk through the olive tree block, which is where uh, the, the Paper Street Vineyard was planted in 2013. The first vintage off of Paper Street Vineyard was 2015. And this block, the, the olive tree block, has been really the cornerstone of the pay dirt blend uh, since 2015. So I'm super excited to see where those vines are now. And you'll see um, a couple of things that make this vineyard unique is just its location in general, where it is within the Willow Creek District um, and where it's located on this rugged mountain site, which is basically, let's say, chock full of uh, chalky limestone soils. And you'll see that there's giant, um, it's like fake Hollywood rocks. Um, so let's go to Pass Robles and see what Mike and Matt Ducey have to say. Dive bomb you. What else back here? All I have is there's chipmunks on. You see them sometimes running between the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, up on the ranch, there's a ton of turkeys. Uh, saw a bobcat the other day, and then my dad saw a mountain lion the other day. So it was a big old bugger. And then it jumped the, it jumped the eight foot deer fence. Damn. <laughs> back here good thing we ate I know <laughs> and so right through here that's about the western edge of the property okay got it okay yeah it's so dense the walker coming up on this your chlorette Saran and Petit Verdot. They're sheet thinning. And this is the fun part, it kind of opens up right here. Our Zinfandel block. Block A Zin that's been going to, to you guys. It's block seven. Head train Zin. This is on the west facing slope. Just the, the soil and the stress on the vines from 
we don't water them that much. They get like three hours of water every two weeks, and that's about it. Right now we're just putting, uh, we have to put sulfuric acid in the water to bring the pH down or else the vines all turn yellow because they can't take up the iron. The pH of the water is about eight, so we bring it down to about four. And, uh, and double up the acid and it, it turns out really good. To, uh, we're putting in iron right now in the water. Need a second time. So, How many varietals do you have planted here in total? Was there 10 or 11? Something like that. It's pretty unique to have that many varietals grow this successfully yeah, in one site. I'm learning a lot because all I, we did for years was Zinfandel for, you know, since uh, since I was born anyway. And they're all different. Just, they get different, you know, mature at different ages and different times, so. And they all take different care. It, like the Grenache Blanc, it, we're having to thin the heck out of them right now because they're just massive. Suckers everywhere, so. But uh, everybody seems happy with the grapes, so if they're happy, I am. <laughs> All right, last question. How long has the Ducey family been farming here in Paso Robles? Since 1925. My grandparents bought the original ranch in 25 and planted that. And then the place, my dad's place where we live is uh, was planted in 1945. There's a hundred acres that's in there and my uncle's is about 40 acres. And that's all we had until until we bought this place and bought three or four other vineyards and uh, then you learn a lot. Mainly to have vineyards on the west side, not the east side. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and so of the four original grape growing and farming families in, in Paso Robles, the Ducey family is the one that remains of the old Italian immigrants? Yeah, the only ones that are left. Everyone else Pretty much sold out. Turley's bought uh, Pizzini's and Martinelli's and outfit out of uh, Argentina bought Rada's. So that's basically all that was left. And uh, yeah, I don't know. As long as I'm alive, we'll still have them. So <laughs> I don't know after that. But yeah, no, it's it's totally different now from it was 30 years ago. 40 years ago, you couldn't give the grapes away. Nobody wanted them. You know, and it's hard to, we used to sell grapes for $50 a ton, and we had to deliver them to York Mountain, and we had to crush them for the guy. Then we didn't get sold, paid until he sold the wine. So, yeah, now you can pretty much ask whatever you want. So, but that's basically all I know. Fair enough, thanks.